good morning everybody it's Dave here holiday for two well today I'm gonna to be putting my soft topper on my new truck I just got this in a couple days ago I ordered it last week from soft topper and I'm gonna be putting it on today and there's a couple of tools you need and uh, one of those is a 916 socket wrench and of course a Phillips screwdriver that's about all you need they say so it should be pretty easy if you're thinking about getting one of these after I get it put on I'll let you know how hard it was to put on or how easy it was to put on it looks pretty easy if you are thinking about getting one of these and you want instructions on how to put it on soft topper has lots of videos that are actually really really good to give you the details on how to put it on so I'm gonna follow their video and hopefully it won't take too long I don't I'll let you know though <laughs> I'll let you know how hard or how easy it is but uh, I'm going to be putting the soft topper on my Nissan Frontier. It has a five foot bed. So you have to make sure when you order one of these that you order the correct size to match your pickup truck. So you may want to go out and measure it unless you know absolutely what size it is if you're thinking of getting one of these. So here we go. If you like this video, please hit the like button, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell on the side so you'll be notified when I put out more videos in the future. So today is my soft topper installation on my 24 Nissan Frontier Pro 4X. Here we go. So someday when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. All right, so one of the first things it says to do is to open a box from the top. You don't want to cut anything that's in the box. So that's going to be, there's two boxes here together. So I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. One of the boxes is going to have the parts for the, uh, the hardware parts for the frame, and the other part, the other box should have the actual canvas that goes on it. Ah, this one has the canvas. So let me pull the canvas out. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to take the canvas and actually just lay it out in the sun somewhere so it can warm up a little bit. They say if you let the canvas warm up, it makes it easier to stretch. Now we're in Arizona, so it's we're not dealing with really cold temperatures right now. It's about 64, 65, but I'll still lay it out so it warms up a little bit. Another thing I got for my soft topper was the cover that you can wrap this up when you want to fold up your soft topper and put it away or just put it forward and you want to keep it protected from the sun. They have a cover that they get for it, that you can get for it. But you have to order this separately. It doesn't come with a soft topper, but I highly recommend it if you want to get one. That way, if you want to cover it up sometimes and keep it protected, you can put the cover over it. This looks really nice. They call this sail canvas. And uh, it's very, very, it feels very durable. It's very heavy. It's almost like boat, uh, like a boat canvas, like you might get on your boat. All right, next. Boy, they really see you. seal these up, don't they? Yep. So I'm just going to take all the hardware out and put it in the back of my truck so I can see what I've got to work with. Let me show you what I got so far. There's all the, everything comes wrapped up, so I'll just have to undo all the plastic. But this is the, uh, all of this is part of the uh, cover, the uh, frame that you put on the uh, truck before you put the canvas on. Then the canvas snaps into these little snaps here. I also have a bag of uh, the clamps and the hardware plus instructions and everything are in the bag but I will say if you go to their website they have online videos that you can watch to show how to put everything on your truck so I definitely recommend watching those I probably watched it like 10 times so hopefully this won't be too hard and won't take too long so I'll just keep going I'm gonna open this up in a minute and open the rest of those up yep these are the ones 
these clamps are the ones you need the 9 16 wrench for. And then these go over the sides of your truck. Looks like I may have to loosen them up. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to loosen these out so I can get them out as far as I can because these have to go over the rails and then over my yeah so you may want to just like take them all the way out to make it easy for yourself just as a side note I started this about 955 when I started doing the video so so far we're about four minutes so I'll keep checking the time and see how long it takes It says 10 o'clock. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. And you got some Velcro, Velcro strips. These go on the tailgate for the flap at the end. There's some Velcro strips for the uh, back of your tailgate. And it looks like it has these kind of clamps on it. These are the clamps for the, uh, for the pole in the back. And you have two of those. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Of course, you got your little soft topper sticker right there. <laughs> wow, they really wrap everything up tight. Well, it took me about 10 minutes just to get all the stuff off. <laughs> so it took took 10 minutes to get all the wrapping off. But a little tip on that, you, you can use a box, one of those real sharp box knives. I just use a real, just a kind of a kitchen knife that I had. And honestly, I don't know if I'd want anything sharper than this because I didn't want to make, I didn't want to accidentally damage one of the, uh, there's some straps on some of the hardware here, so I didn't want to cut anything accidentally. So I think this is probably just fine. If you go any sharper, very, be very, very careful. All right, the next thing it says to uh, look for the one that says driver side, driver side front. So this is gonna go together with this piece and it locks in. There's a little, uh, one of those little Flat. You got to be careful you don't pinch your fingers on these. I watched that in the video. That would be very painful. So it locks in like that. You want this part right here to line up with the inner bed of your truck right there. So the end of this kind of lines up with the bed of the truck. You have about a oh, half inch of a gap right there. And then you're going to take the paper off. The paper doesn't have anything to stick on, so you just undo the paper and pull the paper off. So I'm gonna do that next. Now the reason it has this foam on here is so it has a little uh, weather for weather stripping and stuff so water doesn't get in under the rail. Like if it rains and stuff, you don't want water getting in. So I'm just kind of putting it with a thumb, a finger's width, and then I'm gonna put a clamp down, but I'm not gonna tighten the clamps. Nope. All right, so I have to take it all the way off. Here's a little tip for you. When you get these brackets, at least for me, I just had to take them all the way off. You can't get it over the rail with them being on. So you have to take them off like this, and then you can screw them back on when you get them on the, on the truck. All right, so basically, it's gonna be kind of the tip of your fingers width off the back here. And so I got the rail on, but I don't have the clamps on. And the clamps are gonna go over, over the, that, sort of like that. And, but see, it's not enough. I have to, uh, I have to undo the clamp because it won't go over my side rail. So I'm gonna tighten, I'm gonna tighten them up just a little bit. Not real tight, but just enough so they stay on there good. Because I may need to adjust them in a minute. I'm not going to tighten them all the way and 
and I brought them back a little bit so they wouldn't be right on top of the snaps. So I'm moving back a little bit now. Tighten this one down. So, so far so good. The clamps are on. They're just not tightened down completely. And I think they're all in about the right positions. The next step is to get these little clips. Take these little clips out and save them somewhere so you don't lose them. Get these little rings or safety rings, clips, whatever you want to call them, cotter pins. Now just a little tip here, they color code these bars. One has a, this one has a little black dot and the top bar has a little black dot. And this is the first, the front bar because you can tell because it has the snaps on it. This is the back bar that goes up towards the front of the truck and it has a red tab on it, a red dot. So you just want to make sure you match up these dots when you snap on the bar that goes across. I guess these other two bars probably won't make a difference because these have no snaps on them. But just heads up on that. And watch your fingers when you're pushing these down because I can see why they say that because you could easily get your fingers pinched in here. So just be careful. Well, it's on. I got to say the hardest part was other than getting the plastic stuff off the poles was getting the snaps put in. I mean getting the snaps to because this is so tight. That's why they tell you to put this in the sun so it warms it up. I can only imagine how hard this would be to stretch when it's cold. But uh, yeah. And this comes over the back zips up and then there's some stuff that goes over the back but uh, that's it in. all right well hey I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer on this <laughs> I'm joking it started getting hot so I had to go change clothes I mean you know Arizona we're like 72 right now so I was burning up but uh, the sun's out so once the sun stretches this it's easy to get that on there but uh, there's some little Velcro things that go under the back here to hold that down. So I'll do that next. I'm just going to let it sit here in the sun for a while so I can get the other side all snapped up. This side was easier because it's right in the sun so it stretched so easy. The other side over here, I can only get up to about here. This button is almost there. And uh, I almost got that one on. And your fronts. These are going to go up, seals up. This zips up in here, and then this locks down. And uh, this goes over and Velcro's up. But I'll do that next. So it doesn't look too bad. That's the first part of my. Uh... Now I'm going to see how it drives when it goes down the road. But there's other things you can do. You can pull these off and roll them up. They call that safari mode, but I'm not going to mess around with that today because I'm just going to let it sit here in the sun and stretch. Oh, by the way, <clears throat> I forgot to add this. I started at around 10 o'clock, 9.55, and it is now 11.22. So this took me an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and that's being ready by watching all the videos and everything. So give yourself some time, fix a drink, relax don't be in a hurry hey i hope you found this interesting and like i said watching me suffer have a good day everybody i'll show you my next part of my build later on safe travels have a good day Whew. time for a drink